sometimes a tremendous role, frequently no role. Um, our experience has been just our experience that a lot of directors are not very knowledgeable about music and not very interested in music. They're interested in directing. Mm -hmm. I understand, I think that's great. Once in a while, I'll find someone who's, you know, got a real um, kind of some genuine depth of experience in an aspect of music that's relevant. I did a picture some years ago with um, Andy Garcia and Richard Dreyfus, Sidney Lumet directed called Night Falls on Manhattan. And Sidney's a jazz fan all his life. So as we started that picture, he said, um, I want to get the entire Marsalis clan into this movie now. So we did. We went to Winton and everybody, and we got their dad, and you know, we ended up having a wonderful session and created just staggeringly good music. For, music's better than the movie, you know. But at least we were thinking early, and Sidney was on it, and it was his idea. It was a great idea. Flip side of that is, many times you just scream up to the end of a movie, and people's ideas about music are all too frequently shaped, from a director's point of view, by the temp track that you create in the editing room. And they'll fall in love with some pop single from their childhood. Pop, falling in love with a pop single from your childhood is like doing crack. You know, you might get high momentarily, but it's really at the expense of your intelligence and not a recommended formula for success. I, my view of that is we try to just disabuse people of falling in love with temp track altogether, try not to use much temp track. Every film, like every album, like every painting, like every play, like every novel, across the creative pantheon, all of these pieces speak to people. They have a unique voice. They should, if they're working properly, make you laugh or make you cry or make you think or make you come, whatever they do, some variation of these things and sometimes more than one of those things, hopefully. So to find that unique voice, you need to back off of the kind of cliché platform and try to see what can be fresh and affecting. You know, if you go to a movie and your expectations are exceeded, like you watch the first 20 minutes and you go, God, this is pretty cool, and an hour in you haven't gotten up to think about popcorn or a restaurant, and you get to the parking lot and you're going, God, that was cool. I loved it when he did this and when she said that and blah, blah. And then you know, then everybody wins. To get to that moment, music, film, visuals, hundreds of artists have to make contributions that are singular and remarkable and synchronized. That's why I do this, because it's not easy, you know, and because you have the challenge of trying to organize all of that talent and make it kind of head in the same direction. It's really fun.